Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, this problem involves similar triangles. When you take a look at the two triangles I have, the large one and the small one, notice how the angles are marked. Why are those triangles similar? That's right, because of AA similarity. Two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another. Now knowing that, we should be able to write some proportions pairing up consecutive and corresponding sides. So if I look at the side that's labeled eight, what side in the small triangle corresponds with that? Yes, y. So I can make a ratio of 8 over y. How about the 24 side in the big triangle? Yes, that would correspond with x. And finally, the 30 in the large triangle corresponds with the 20 in the small triangle. Now, can I use these proportions to this proportion to solve for x and y? Yes. First, let's look at this one. 24 over x equals 30 over 20. Cross, multiply, and solve. 30x equals 480x equals 16. What about solving for y? Yes, we can take a look at this part of my multiple ratios proportion. So I can write 8 over y equals 24 over, and what do we get for x? Oh, that's right, 16. So now let's cross multiply. 24y equals 24y equals 128, divide each side by 24, and I get my answer, y equals 5 and a third, or 5.3 repeating. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.